the video. Um, I've got all sorts of information in here about the default values for many, many chunk options that you can look at. So that's useful. Uh, if you've got code that you do not want to run at all, you might want to show it on the screen, but not run or execute. You could change the default values true. You could change eval to false and it won't run the code, but it could show it if you wanted it to. Echo equals true, that's also the default value. If you change that to false, it's not gonna run the code at all. Um, the warnings and errors, I usually just make sure that these are set. They don't default to false. I would make them false because you don't want that stuff in your code usually, uh, in your rendered document. This is useful stuff. When you insert a plot or a figure, you've got lots of control with these chunk options, right? In terms of the captions, uh, the size, uh, whether it's centered, where it's aligned to, et cetera, et cetera. So, very, very useful. This document that you're looking at at the moment, I think you'll find useful if you click on the screen uh, on the link that's available right now, you can, you'll be able to access this. I hope that was useful. In the next video, we're gonna talk about narrative elements, which is, you know, how to create hyperlinks, et cetera, et cetera, inside your narrative text.